how do you see the role that these Arab states are taking or lack of role in defending the Palestinian people? Do you think it's from a position where they just cannot because of the economic pressures and uh, these types of situations? Or is it that they are literally in, in collusion with the Zionist regimes? Well, expectedly, Arab regimes do come under enormous pressure, especially from the Americans. The Americans are all over the region. They have about 60 or 65 bases, I hear, military bases. But that's not really the main reason. The main reason is that the Arab elites who are in government in much of the Arab world are actually Zionists, Zionists in ideology. <laughs> okay, they, they are Arabs. They are children of Arabs. Some of yeah. them, some are not. Uh, they speak Arabic. They uh, profess to be Muslims, right. but actually in, in their mm. mentality, in their ideology, they are Zionists. Or how else can you explain the Abrahamic Accords, mm. where Saudi Arabia, well, sorry, not Saudi Arabia, well, Saudi Arabia was going to join them, mm. but the UAE, Bahrain, Morocco, Sudan, and prior to that, Jordan and Egypt uh, enter into full diplomatic relations with Israel, while Israel is doing all of this to the Palestinians and is in endangering the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the, 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 the first Qibla, the third holiest uh, place uh, for the people of Islam. These rulers cannot be Muslim, in my opinion. They're, they're just Zionists. And not only that, today, when the Houthis in uh, Yemen mm -hmm. are blocking the uh, entrance to the Red Sea and uh, influencing uh, maritime trade, uh, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan step in to provide an alternative route mm. uh, uh, in order to, uh, to, to provide Israel with its essential needs. While Gaza is denied all essential needs. Yeah. Can, can, can these rulers be really uh, part of the Ummah? No, they, no. They, in my opinion, they are Zionists.